Today we're taking a look at the new 2023 SS34 by Bowtech Archery. Just a reminder guys, head on over to mikesarchery.com to pick up any of our latest logo gear. We got plenty of hats and shirts as well as any gear you might need for your next adventure. Welcome back to Mike's Archery's YouTube and today we are looking at the new 2023 lineup by Bowtech and we have got the new SS34 standing for super smooth. Now Bowtech has done some SS models in the past and they are always exactly what they advertise, super smooth. This 34 is no different. Being made right here in the USA by Bowtech so let's take a look at some of the specs on this bow. Speed is coming in at 331 feet per second with an axle to axle obviously of 34 inches and an overall cam to cam length of 39 and a half. So giving an extremely long, very stable, accurate platform to shoot from. The brace height is coming in at six and three quarters of an inch, also adding to that stability and torque free accuracy out of this bow. The reflex measurement on this bow is coming in at three and a half and the advertised weight on the new SS34 is 4.7 pounds. Now as we pulled it out of the box and threw it on the scale, we got it in at five pounds even. Taking off the orbit dampeners, we got it down to 4.8, coming in just a tenth of a pound over advertised weight, so pretty much right on what Bowtech is advertising. Now with their new redesigned cam and modules, You've got a wide draw length option on this bow going all the way down from 26 inches on the bottom end and out to 31 and a half on the top end, just missing that extra half inch to get you that 32 inch draw length. So if you're that really long draw length guy at 32 plus, you're just not going to be able to get this bow to shoot for you. But still fitting most guys and even what we consider most longer draw length guys at 31 and a half. Now the draw weight options on the SS34 are going to come to you in 50, 60, and 70 pound maxes. They are not offering this bow in an 80 pound max as we're seeing from some of the competition and seeing a lot of guys go that direction over the last few years. This bow is only going to be available at a top end of 70 pounds and then on the lighter end of 50. So you're going to be able to get this bow to fit most everybody out there. With an 85% let off on this new redesigned cam and what we noticed about that cam was the offset cable system. They've spread that cable system out a little bit. Still got a nice wide stance and a wide limb uh, stance on this bow, but overall that little difference in the cable uh, offset on this cam is a little different than what we've seen from the competition as well as Bowtech, but that flex guard is still taking the torque off those cams and off those axles and giving this bow a great feel and shootability. Now Bowtech kept with all of their standard features that they have had over the last few years, keeping with that deadlock tuning system, and in our opinion is still one of the nicest tuning systems on the market from any bow manufacturer. If you are looking for an ease of tuning, the deadlock system is it. No shimming, no pulling axles, no eclipse, all right there with just a simple turn of an Allen screw, you're able to move that cam back and forth to get a perfect tear every time and get this bow tuned in and dialed in perfectly with minimal effort. So that's really nice from a pro shop standpoint or if you're the guy at home that likes to work on your own bow, it just makes it easy for you to do things without a press. Now they did keep with their dual lock pockets and locking those pocket systems in place to that riser gives it an extremely stable and repeatable accurate shootability out of this bow with those dual lock pockets. The rotating mods are the same as what you have seen in the past from Bowtech. You still got that draw length adjustability with one sliding module on there. So you don't have to swap out to different base cams or different base modules. Uh, you're able to just slide that mod to the draw length that you need. And also you've got the flip disc technology built into that. So if you wanna be able to shoot this on a performance setting rather than the comfort setting, to pick up approximately 10 feet per second here and there, you're able to just pull those modules off, flip them to the performance setting, and you're ready to go. Gives a little harsher draw cycle, a little more effort to pull through and a little drop off in the back, but overall still a great feel from that performance setting if you're wanting to get the maximum speed out of any of Bowtech's bows. They did keep with the integrated rest system on the SS34, so you're gonna be able to use whether it's the Ripcord Integrate or any other integrated rest options on the market, they will mount directly up to the riser of this bow. 
And even if you don't want to do that, you still got your dual rest holes built into the riser, allowing you to mount any rest option that is on the market. Bowtech also kept with their clutch grip system, which is a fantastic grip system, it is a nice thin target style grip that sits extremely well right in the crease of your hand, gives you very little torque and repeatability out of that grip. And it's also adjustable with that clutch grip system. You can change out uh, those pieces on the back of the grip to adjust the high wrist or lower wrist, whatever it is you prefer to get the proper feel out of this bow. From there, they kept with the orbit dampening system that you're able to mount to the sides of the riser, top, bottom, or even in line in the back. Just allows to give a little different balance or feel to this bow, but still taking the shock out of the shot. Bowtech also kept with their two-piece quiver mounting system with the standard triangle bracket. So if you've got one of the traditional triangle bracket two-piece systems, you can mount that directly on the riser. And if you want to keep with a single quick detach quiver, you've still got that ability to mount that right on your sight. With that said, you've got dual sight mounting positions on this riser. Whether you want to need to go in or out or up or down just a little bit uh, to get that perfect sight picture for your setup and lined up with your peep. They also kept with their standard single string stop mount and their standard single stabilizer front mount up front. So you'll have the ability to mount any system to this, getting you a sidebar kicked off that front stabilizer mount just to balance this bow out to your shooting needs. Now the color options on this bow are coming to you with quite a few options from Bowtech. Uh, you've got some solids there that you can get this SS34 in with black and OD green, smoke gray, or a flat dark earth. From there, you've got a few camo options with a mossy oak DNA or the sub alpine, real tree edge, a QU Verde 2.0, and also a cryptic altitude. So you can really customize this bow into several color options that are going to make it look just the way you want. Now, Bowtech kept with a traditional pricing from what we've seen over the last year or so. And this SS34 is coming to you at a retail of $1,199. So right there with what we saw with most flagships in the past at $1,200 gives you a nice price point to get one of the smoothest shooting, longer axle to axle, extremely accurate platforms on the market. I think Bowtech has nailed it with a longer axle to axle, longer draw length, just giving you that perfect stability and accuracy out of any bow that they have. From here, we're gonna step over to the lane and give you a breakdown of the speed ratings on this bow, as well as the overall feel from the shot and the decibel readings on the noise rating. We'll be giving you a breakdown on both the performance and the comfort setting mods. Everything from the factory comes set on the comfort setting, but if you flip that over, we're gonna give you the numbers on the performance setting as well. And as usual, we'll be shooting this bow at 29 inch draw length, 70 pounds and 85% let off using everything from a 350 all the way out to a 500 grain arrow. So we step back here to the lane and we've got the new SS34 and we're going to take a few shots out of this bow, give you the speed breakdown as well as the decibel readings on this bow and just an overall feel of the new Super Smooth 34. As usual, we're going to give you the breakdown from 350 all the way out to 500 grains on the arrow, starting with a 400 grain arrow and we are shooting this thing on the performance settings to start with and then we'll give you the breakdown on the comfort settings as always shooting this bow at 29 inch draw length uh, and 70 pounds with an 85 percent let off so let's uh take some shots and get you some numbers here so the ss34 Coming into you with a 400 grain arrow on the performance setting is getting 301 feet per second. So for a longer axle to axle bow, we're seeing some really nice speeds and also this bow being a super smooth model. Now, even on the performance settings, this bow is still pretty smooth. So to give you those numbers on the speeds, if you go down to a 350 grain arrow, we got 321 feet per second on the performance setting, then 301 with a 400 grain arrow, and then a 450 grain arrow, we dropped down to 289. And then with a 500 grain arrow, we got 274. Now, when you flip that over to the comfort settings, obviously you lose a little bit of speed. And with a 350 grain arrow, we dropped down to 312, which was a loss of about 11 feet per second. And with the 400 grain arrow, we dropped down to 294 feet per second, losing about seven. And then with 450 grain arrow, we dropped down to 282 feet per second on the comfort setting, 
losing only about seven feet per second. And then at a 500 grain arrow, we drop down to 263, losing about 11 feet per second. So a little performance loss there as we got to a heavy arrow. But still, this being a super smooth and not supposed to have that extra speed kick to it anyway, uh, this bow is shooting wonderful speeds for what it's made to be. That longer axle to axle, still kicking out great performance with that longer stability and great feel in your hand. Now, from a decibel standpoint, this bow came in at 94.9 on the decibels. So really a quiet shooting bow, which we were expecting out of a super smooth. You really expect to get a quieter bow as you get a little bit slower and a little bit smoother and you lose some of that performance. It's going to make it up in quietness. And this bow certainly gives you that. So the SS34 on the grip, same clutch grip that Bowtech has had for years. Uh, still a great feel. There's no reason to change that grip because it's got such versatility built into it. It's got a great feel, sits right in the palm of your hand, giving you very little to no torque at full draw. And then if you need to change that to a higher wrist grip or whatever fits you, you're able to adjust that with their clutch grip system, giving that change to push out your wrist to where it's comfortable for you. From there, the draw cycle on this bow is exactly what they advertise. So if you're the guy that's looking for a longer axle to axle bow and something that is really smooth through the draw cycle, then the SS34 is certainly gonna be something you're gonna wanna look at. Traditionally, they've made that in a little shorter axle to axle. And me personally, I like those longer 33, 34 axle to axles as a bigger guy. It just feels better in my hand. So you longer draw guys, you taller guys, I think this is going to be a bow that you want to look at. Now, if you really like those short axle to axles, this probably isn't the bow for you, but still take a look at it because it's extremely smooth. If you got shoulder problems or if you just have issues getting your bow back, this is going to give you that smooth draw cycle coming over, not dropping over harshly, and you're going to be able to take that and pull a little more weight than you have in the past with that smoother draw curve. From there at full draw, this bow sits extremely well, that longer axle to axle balancing it out. Uh, it's got a good balance top to bottom. It's not top heavy. It doesn't want to fall forward out of your hand through the shot. And overall, the deadness in the hand is exactly what we expected out of Bowtech. They've got some of the best feeling dead in the hand bows from this year that we've shot. And this SS34 is certainly no different. So if the SS34 and a super smooth draw cycle is something you're looking for, then most certainly take a look at Bowtech and their new SS34 and give us a call here at Mike's Archery so we can get you set up.